Morning lovelies, Tim Wilde, happy Mondays, meditation Monday. Well, it's more kind of a um, little bit of a chat with a meditation thrown in today because I just want to, as, as we go along, as you know, I kind of pick up on what's going on out there, what's affecting people the most, the fluctuations in the fields and just generally what the best way to kind of assist and move forwards is. What I've noticed, um, particularly over the weekend, as Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, is there is particularly the more, I, mean, I, I think oversensitivity or, or kind of um, clairsentience or the, the, the ability to kind of feel energies and pick up on fields is something which all of us are, we, we very, we're very naturally inclined to just simply as spiritual human beings but there are many of us who are very psychically um, psychically much more sensitive than others but we seem to number higher in those in those fields of sensitivity at the moment than we do less now as as I've gone through the year I've kind of identified um, how this process is rolling out and I think it was about April or May I identified that it's almost like we, we there are two very distinctive fields that we live in and if you cut it if you just cut it down to very simple terms it's either the field of fear or the field of love though uh, you know and though, though there doesn't seem to be any buffering space in between now I had an interesting conversation with a friend of mine in the summer that said that when and this was this was information channeled from an ascended master that when this process was planned back in you know back some considerable time ago when they were predicting how this shift from 3d to 5d would go in a very very short space of time they allocated three streams of energy and obviously there was going to be the third dimensional field which is in the process of, of that's the one that we're moving out of just i want to just make sure that the the distinction um, of what happens to that 3D field is quite clear. A a dimensional space won't just disappear. Okay, so the fact that we have moved out of that field doesn't mean that it's gone. It doesn't mean that it's collapsed and disintegrated. What has happened is we've moved the aspects of ourselves that are ascending out of it, and in the process of doing so. The bits that aren't in alignment have begun they are in the process of disintegration or they've disintegrated all altogether and there is this 4d window this for if um i've often been asked kind of you know why 3d to 5d what about 4d or why <laughs> why 7d to 9d what happened what happens to 8d or or 5d 5d to 7d what happens to 6d it it seems that the interim ones are transitional okay so as we're going from the third dimensional vibration to the fifth dimensional vibration we use the pathway of fourth when we've you know when we've comfortably kind of settled into our fifth dimensional frequency and it's time to step up again which i think probably a lot of us will find that we're we're already touching the the, the higher climbs of these vibrations the sixth dimensional window will be the, the will be the transition so that's that's as far as I know how it operates but at the moment I'm witnessing a lot of people becoming very kind of caught up in this fear field now by the 21st of December uh, uh, this year obviously 21st of December 2020 two billion people will have woken up on this planet that weren't awake at the start of the year now if you cast your mind back to how you woke up and kind of maybe the circumstances that triggered you awake and once you're awake what inevitably happened is that you might have enjoyed it for a little bit oh i'm awake kind of thing and then you get shoved unceremoniously into the dark night of the soul and everything goes south with a wind behind it that's where the majority of the planet are at the moment they're waking up the veils have been removed from their third eye and they are in utter disarray because they're seeing things which they are not ready to see or they don't want to see the fear and the anger levels are rising and I'm just watching this field get more and more stopped at the moment and we are picking up on it we really are I've, I've had numerous messages from people who are literally like on I mean, you know like they, their fields are lit up like Christmas trees I mean if you're watching this you'll know who 
I, I am actually referring to you indirectly. And it's like, like with, with most of these things, 95% of it belongs to somebody or something or an accumulative field that, 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 isn't, that isn't of your own personal creation. It's not yours. So all of this is entering the bodies, the fields, the chakras, picking up on it, or we're simply reading information on, on good old Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any other kinds of forms of social media, especially if you, if you, if you still subject yourself to the mainstream media, that, that is an absolute, that's an absolute trigger. It's a catalyst for fear, that is. So what I'd like to do, the walking meditation this morning is very simple. It requires discipline as most of these things do, okay? The analogy I'd like to use is, it is it's the same as feeding yourself, okay? And I'm, I'm not a huge one to talk, I'm a bit of a junk food vegan. I'm, I'm a typical lazy bloke. If I can reach into the freezer and grab myself a pot of Ben and Jerry's vegan ice cream, I will do. Instead of taking the time of like, you know, fastidiously preparing my, my very healthy vegan salad. So I have to be disciplined with the way that I feed myself, otherwise I kind of go into a state of malnutrition and <laughs> or whatever, it's being a bit exaggerated, but the, exactly the same thing applies to our energy discipline. It's very easy or very, it's very easy to just reach out to an energy or a vibration or a piece of information that we are familiar with and fill our fields with it. Most of that is fear at the moment. The, the third dimension thrived and survived and learnt and basically platformed on fear and division for thousands and thousands of years. And say you, you, you're going out, you're, you, you're hungry and the majority of people who are relatively unconscious though they'll they'll right i'm hungry i'm not going to go to the supermarket and buy myself organic vegetables go home and prepare myself a beautiful feast i'll dive into the sandwich shop or i'll go to mackie d's and get myself some junk food eat it i'm no longer hungry carry on with my day and so feeding the love field feeding the higher field takes discipline okay it's something that we have to work at it's something we have to be continuously vigilant with and it's very very easy to slip back into that old way of that old routine and before you know it all your fields are lit up with other people's energies or alarm bells because believe me the triggers are coming out there thick and fast at the moment it's almost like this 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 big global push towards the light is bringing everything that was invisible to the surface so that it is, it is it is clearly visible to see. Even the main players that I've been mentioning before have stepped out of the shadows and made themselves visible now. It's all there for us to see. So it's down to us as light workers to step into that higher vibration and hold it. Now, as a walking meditation this morning, just close your eyes for a few seconds, take a deep breath in and breathe out. And do this a couple of times and as you're breathing in and out just imagine yourself filling up with bright golden light okay this is all i love the gold ray of christ and the gold ray of christ is very prominent at the moment it's it's one of the primary energies that's fueling this ascension process so another deep breath in And as you're breathing out, just visualize yourself standing there energetically. A lot of you will be familiar with what you look like energetically. You might have seen aura graphs of yourself. You might have visualized yourself with your 12 chakras as you're meditating. And just be aware of where you are standing. And to your left hand side, there will be a field of, of kind of dense, or dark looking energy some of it may, it might it might be red it might be black but whatever it will it will look like a cloud it will look kind of murky that will be to your left hand side and just be aware of it and to the right hand side of you will be a very bright golden field now this will be filled with rainbow lights it will be filled with what looks like diamonds and multiple high frequency energies and you are standing in between these two fields Okay, take a deep breath in and as you breathe out now just be aware of how many cords are feeding into the field on your left hand side. 
okay this is the denser darker field of energy looks like a storm cloud you could imagine it looking like a hurricane whatever it looks like just let it reveal itself to your subconscious with your eyes closed and just see how many chords that you might have feeding into this cloud of energy this can be anything that you've placed your attention into. It could be a piece of news. It could be an aspect of 3D reality that you are attached to. It could be something that's going on in your life. Now, these, you know, don't beat yourself up about this. These things are unavoidable at the moment. But just be aware of how many chords you have feeding into that field and just sit with that for a few moments. It might be one, it might be two, it might be 10, it might be more than that. Just notice how many are feeding into that cloud, that lower field. And when you've had a rough count, then become aware of the field on your right hand side, which is, I always see it, mine looks bright gold. Let's see, what does yours look like this morning? And just be aware of which one is larger, which one looks more powerful in your reality. And then count the amount of basically energetic connections that you have with the bright golden field on your right hand side. And just notice that there will be also a large golden stream of energy that's heading into your heart centre from this field on your right hand side. You will, if, you, if you're looking at it from the perspective that I'm looking at it, you will be very highly connected to it. Okay, it's almost like the, the umbilical cord to this 5D field will be very strong and very powerful and it will be moving into your heart centre. Okay, so just sit with that for a few moments. Be aware of the strength of your connection to this 5D field, this high reality. And as you're visualizing this, or you are feeling this, now begin to feel more of your energy moving into this 5D field. You might even see yourself stepping to your right and merging with it. Now this is a powerful visualization, this is a choice, this is alchemy. Step yourself into that higher field. Feel the golden light integrating with your four body system, physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. Feel any fears that you have. Feel any disharmony, any anxiety any worries that you might have for the future just beginning to disintegrate now and while you are doing this just notice any of the cords and attachments that you have feeding into this lower field just beginning to very gently disintegrate you might even want to at this moment call in archangel michael to cut those cords and attachments for you Step into this 5D field, make it a conscious choice, okay? So we now called in Archangel Michael, or you might have wanted to call in the dragons or any of the other higher souls that you're working with. The unicorns are perfect for this work as well. And just remove the cords and attachments, the strings of worry the disharmony or anything else. Feel them disintegrating, feel them separating and just allow yourself to step into this field of higher light. There's squawking going on to my left at the moment. Now as this occurs, you'll begin to feel any of the worries that you've got, any of the anxiety that you might have within your bodies and feel just beginning to lift. It will literally just drain away from your chakras and just take a deep breath in.
And as you're breathing out, feel yourself relaxed, feel yourself calm, feel yourself ready to face your day with whatever it is presenting. Now you can do that again, there's like many of the walking meditations that I present, the, the, this is something that you can repeatedly do. What we tune into, what we focus upon, what we make as our reality is a conscious choice, okay? We are the alchemists, we are the creators, we are the ones in the driving seat, we are the ones with the power. So every time we add our energy to something, we're making a powerful conscious choice to make that part of our reality. Now, obviously we have things, you know, like I's to dot and, and T's to cross at the moment regarding the, the movement of this ascension process, but we are supported 100% by the quantity of light that is coming in and the magnitude and the velocity at which this ascension process is moving forwards. So allow yourself that time and space just to move into this 5D reality whenever you feel that you have been kind of knocked sideways, knocked to the left, knocked off, knocked off your higher perch a little bit. And just, just be aware that, you know, one, one thing that I believe, I believe is very important is don't beat yourself up if you have been caught up or drawn into situations which have lowered your vibration, have made you angry, have worried you, because there are lots of circumstances that are affecting many of us at the moment which are actual, they are changes of our circumstances, they're changes of a reality, things are shifting on this planet. And it's a natural human, it is a natural human emotion to feel fear, anger when we're challenged. So just make sure that you are aware of, you know, where the sources are, what's triggering this, where it's coming from. And just every time it occurs, take the time out to breathe, relax, move yourself into that golden energy, that high frequency energy, set yourself in it and start again. Doesn't matter if you have to do this a thousand times a day, eventually it will become natural. It will become something that is automatic rather than the choices that we made previously. So I hope that's useful for you. But just as, as we're running through this week, the energies are very, very high. People out there, especially on social media, are very, very triggered at the moment. There's a lot of people having their buttons pressed and there's a lot of people out there that are trying to press the buttons. Make sure that, you know, like I said previously, you know where that energy is coming from and you make the conscious choices to... We're, we're, we are changing, don't get me wrong, we are changing our planet, but we're doing it from a point of love. Sending you all loads of that, talking and speaking of love, and um, I will update any further during the week, and if not, I'll see you all on Friday. Bye for now.